Kelly, Assistant Superintendent for the Pocono Mountain School District. Among the critical challenges facing educators today is the growing population of at-risk students. The Pocono Mountain School District is faced with such challenges as it is one of the most diverse districts in the state of Pennsylvania. The K-12 student population has over 10,000 students, of which 21% have IEPs, 5% are English language learners, and 50% are economically disadvantaged. Only 24% of the Pocono Mountain graduates have been enrolled from kindergarten through 12th grade. Finally, students enter in kindergarten with tremendous skill deficits, as on the average, 40 test non-proficient on the Dibble's next assessment. As a direct result of these statistics, during the 2010-2011 school year, Pocono Mountain set out on a search for a systematic, research-based, and scientifically validated individualized reading program designed for diverse student populations. Not just any program, but one that would be aligned to the state reading standards and address phonics, phonemic awareness, fluency, vocabulary, and text comprehension. We were surprised, but our big shoes were filled by, of all things, pause. Yes, study dogs seem to fulfill our requirements as an internet-based, individualized reading program. Okay, as a reading specialist, my task is always both diagnostic and prescriptive. So whenever someone brings a struggling student to my attention, one of my immediate tasks is to look at the data. I have to tell you, Study Dog has reports that will fit every single need, whether it's from a school-wide data search that you need to do, which I also do that because then I see maybe the problem this student is having, many other students are having. So again, that will guide your, your instruction as to whether you you might form small groups or you have to work independently or you have to modify the custom course in study dog so you have a school-wide you actually have a district-wide you have a school-wide report then you have your classroom reports and within your classroom reports you can click on each student and under that student's name you can get a growth model uh, it will be a chart that will show you the child's pretest and then the progress the child has made, or in the areas where that child is still struggling. So what's great about it is, then you see that skill, and the skills are all based on the state standards, and the core standards. So you look at that one skill and you say, wow, he's making progress, or she's making progress in this area, but we need to work here. So you can go back in, and you can custom make another pathway for that student to remediate that area or to strengthen that area. So you have that growth model, which is very, very important. And, and then you have the child's progress monitoring chart, which is just great. That chart shows you the target or the aim line. Then it shows you, you another line where your child is progressing. And it also takes each individual skills and puts little gray dots for each skill. So you can see where they are on that target line, or are they in between the aim line and the target line? So it's right there for you, and it helps you to focus exactly on the skills that the child already has mastered and the skills that the child still needs remediation. The reports in Study Dog are very clear and easy to read for anyone. Um, you don't need to be a reading specialist, you don't need to be a math specialist. I mean, they're clear, and there's also little uh, areas that will explain to you exactly what that report is and what it shows you. There's also an error report. So you can go on there and you can look at a classroom, you can look at school-wide, you can look at your students, and you can click on the error reports and it will tell you the amount of errors that child has made, the amount of errors that are made in your classroom, or the amount of errors that are made in your school. So again, it helps you to differentiate. It's a, just a wonderful tool to help you make sure that each child is progressing in a timely manner and that's what we're all about trying to help those students that have literacy needs that and we need to close that gap everything is right in front of you it targets the strengths the weaknesses and it guides you to 
um, create programs just for that child. It is that customized and that differentiated. I can't really say enough about the reports for the data gathering that you can get in StudyDog. It's just amazing. There is nothing that you have, there's no guesswork. It's all right there. So you can take that information, you take the teacher's input, you can you know, observe the child yourself, and you have a good handle on where that child needs to go and what that child has already done. It's a great program for that. based program that ties in nicely with RTI because it allows us to progress monitor students and then adapt interventions to fit their needs as they move through the tiers of RTI. RTI encompasses all students, whether they be regular education, uh, students who receive remediation, or special education students. So StudyDog has personalized programs. Once a student takes a pretest, uh, StudyDog does its thing and it generates a program to fit those, child, uh, those children's needs. If a child does well on the pretest, they continue to move through the program. If the child exhibits non-mastery, then Study Dog allows for further instruction in that area. Teachers are able to manipulate programs as well uh, so that they can adjust the programs to what they feel their, t uh, their students need. As we know, a data collection and review is critical to a child's intervention plan, and Study Dog allows for numerous types of reports to be viewed by the teacher or the parent. Some of the reports are very detailed and give accurate information, which the teachers like to see, uh, but on the other hand, there are many reports that are very parent-friendly and make it a little bit easier for the parents to understand how their child is progressing. Those reports can be sent home via email on a weekly basis. So all in all, Study Dog is a personalized program that allows for us to adapt interventions to meet a child's needs. The children love doing it. It's fun. It keeps the kids engaged and they're learning at the same time. So at Pocono Elementary Center and I wanted to tell everybody that uh, Study Dog has been a very important component of our RTI, our Response to Intervention uh, meetings. When we meet with teachers and we talk about students who are strugg struggling academically, we often talk about utilizing Study Dog as a component to help them strengthen their academic skills. Uh, our classroom teachers also utilize Study Dog um, various times during the day when they take their students to the computer lab. Uh, since they can differentiate the program, they put children on study dog and they work at their own individual levels. And within the classroom when teachers are doing literacy centers, uh, they also put students at the computer to utilize study dog. Um, the most important part for us is the fact that our clientele or our students can be very mobile and transient and the fact that Study Dog differentiates allows new students even coming into our building uh, to work individually to strengthen some of their skills or to fill in some of those gaps that they come to school with. So we are thrilled uh, to be using the Study Dog program at Pocono Elementary School. Brian Marquez, and what I love about Study Dog is that the kids can really work at their levels. And I'm a special education teacher, and that really makes a big difference. They can work at their own individual level, and it's very, very, very motivating for them. They love it, and they can just go and do what they need to do, and it really brushes up on a lot of skills they need to work on. It's been wonderful. So that's it.
book helps my English language learners develop their early literacy skills, promoting independence and helping them to take charge of their own learning. Nicole, you like study dog? Yes. What's so special about it? You learn contractions, sometimes rhythms, and how to put things in order. Okay. We love study dog. teacher and I've used Study Dog this year for the first time and the best feature I found with Study Dog is their testing before the child even starts the program. Um, students can begin working right away on their own level so the better students are already moving ahead and some students who may need some more repetition, reteaching, a little more uh, practice with the skills can get that practice and only them and then the ones who don't can move on. Um, I also like that there's a preschool part of it. As a kindergarten teacher there's some students who just aren't ready um, to begin on the, the kindergarten curriculum. So it's nice that you can back them up and give them a little more um, experience and exposure before they're ready. It's not like they can you know are stuck they just can begin wherever their ability level allows them to. So as the year goes on, they move within the program and just keep going at their own pace. They can back up when they need to. So for differentiation, um, study, study Dog is a really great program. a fourth grade learning support teacher at Pocono Elementary Center and um, I utilize study dog in my classroom with some of my students who are more struggling readers than others. Um, these are students who typically some of the other more structured reading programs haven't worked with them and these are kids that typically still need a lot of reinforcement of their phonetic skills. So what I like about um, Study Dog is, is it allows my students to reinforce the skills that I'm utilizing with them during direct instruction um, and how it does that is, is through the um, teacher aspect of the program, I can go into the computer and I can actually go into my individual students and I can look through the different skills that are there in the program and I can actually customize and, and rearrange either the order of the skills that they can they come up um, so that it matches what we're doing in, in class or I can actually delete skills that are not skills that they necessarily need reinforcement with but um, are skills that they've, they've mastered. So um, it allows me to give them that extra reinforcement. And the program itself is very, really, really reinforcing. The kids enjoy going on it. Um, it's something that they can independently do. Um, it's very e easy for them to utilize. They're able to, you know, listen through the headphones and follow the directions. And there's ways in the program for them to be able to have the prompts read back to them. And it highlights um, what it's asking you. So it gives a lot of visual cues, which are really important for kids with learning disabilities, um, particularly those kids with reading disabilities. Um, so those are some of the aspects that I really, really enjoy about Study Dog. One more thing, and this is the biggie. When a student is transferred, and we have a highly transient population, both within district and without, but within the district, if a student is transferred from one of our six elementary schools to another, you can transfer that data, and all of the child's progress, all the reports, and all of the custom-made programs for that child goes with the child. That's a great, great feature of this program. As a parent, Study Dog is wonderful. Two areas that I love. First, the connection. 
never a problem. My child can get on. He logs on, stays on. Also, the other area that I'm very happy with, it's, um, it's comparable to Xbox and PlayStation. I think the animation is the same. It's not like a school program. It looks like a game that they want to be playing. Uh, he's a young child, and I know that to keep their attention with educational games sometimes is not fun, and then it's a fight. But at my house, it's a winner. the thing I like the most about study dog is the connection that it brings between home and school so whatever activities my son is working on at school he then can continue when he's home and he logs on to the program um, the interactive part of the program helps it so that he can be very independent at home but if he is struggling with something it's nice because I can sit down right alongside of him and work it through with him and the nice thing is to see what types of reading strategies he's now learned at school that he's able to apply to the program to work through the, the various levels. Um, and Blake, what is your favorite part that you like yeah. about Study Dog? Yeah. You're just what, what, what's, what's your favorite part about Study Dog, though? The point. Why do you like Study Dog? Because it's really cool and we play it a lot because it has fun things and it has cool books. It has cool books. Do you need help with Study Dog? Okay. No. No? Everyone can do it and it's real easy. You just have to click some words. And B, do you like Study Dog? Why do you like it? Because it has um, really fun people that are funny. Do you learn rhyming words mm -hmm. and stories? Now, do you need help when you use Study Dog, or no. can you use it all by yourself? All, all by myself. Study dog is a great thing to go on the computer. It gets your brain moving. It's awesome. It's fun. I like it. It's just fun. It's a fun game because like they have these activities and then they do something fun after you finish the activity and stuff. Now are some of the questions easy and some of them hard or Yeah, the end kinda gets like the first time, yeah, it like got easy. easy, and then in the middle got a little hard. Then yes. at the end, it got very hard. Hi, my name is Rachel, and I like Study Dog because it's fun to play and. I learn my vowels, pronouns, and I get to play all the time when our teacher lets us, and it's fun to play study dog. Do you like the stories? Yes. What's, why do you like the stories, Rachel? Because I like um, the words, how they um, make the story. It's fun to say. Now, do, can you use study dog all by yourself, or yes. do you need help? Um, I can use study dog all by myself. Okay. How do you like the pictures and the graphics? Well, I like it because they're colorful and I like to paint. I like to draw. So I like the pictures very much, the colors, and I like how they make the pictures. Thank you, Rachel. You're welcome.